Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode of Vinny's Vittles. It's been a couple of weeks. I've been under the weather, but I can see the light. I'm coming over the hill and starting to feel better, so we're going to get back to cooking. This week, we're making a cheesy beef pasta skillet, and it looks fantastic, and I think you guys are going to love it. Now, the ingredients that we're going to be using today to make that are some ground beef, some uh, chopped onion, a little bit of tomato paste, some olive oil, some red pepper flakes, of course some garlic, a little salt and pepper, Worcestershire sauce, parsley, mozzarella cheese, and the pasta. As always, you can find the complete list of ingredients and how many of those things you need in the description box below. Now let's get started putting it together. All right guys, the first thing we're going to do is get the pasta ready. Now. I'm going to just go ahead and tell you, we're going to double the recipe, okay? So I'm using twice as many ingredients as what the recipe calls for because there's a bunch of people here at the office that want to eat this. So we're doubling the recipe, but so don't pay attention to how much I use. Look at your description. So we're going to add our pasta into the boiling water. We added a little olive oil to keep it nice and consistent. And then we're just going to cook this till it's uh, about 12 minutes, just according to what the box says for you to do but it asks you to do it one minute less than what it takes to get it to the al dente. But I like mine softer, so we're gonna cook it the whole 12 minutes. And we'll be back in a second. All right, our pasta has finished. We cooked it for 11 minutes. Now this recipe calls for us to hold out uh, some of the um, noodle water, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna hold out a whole cup of the water that we and I'm gonna just set it over here to the side. All right, then we're gonna drain the noodles and start our meat. All right guys, now it's time to start fixing the meat. So we're gonna add our olive oil and then we're gonna come in and add the hamburger meat and we're gonna mix that together good for about two or three minutes. Now again, the recipe only calls for one pound of meat, but again, we're doubling everything, so we're doing two pounds. Okay, we're gonna take our wooden spoon we're gonna put this on a high heat. All right guys, so we browned our hamburger meat. Now it's time to add all the other good ingredients to it. So we're gonna start out with the salt and pepper. So we're gonna add a little of that. And we got it now simmering on a medium heat. Then we're gonna add the pepper flakes. Then we're gonna add the garlic. All right, now we're gonna add the pasta water back. Now we're gonna come in with the Worcestershire sauce and the tomato paste. And lastly, well not lastly, we're gonna add in the parsley. Now we're gonna save about half the parsley to garnish with on the top. Now we're gonna add in the onion. Now just so you'll know, y'all know if you watch Vinny's Vittles for any period of time, I'm not a big fan of onion. So I cooked the onion before I added it in so it would be nice and soft. I don't mind the flavor of onion, I just don't like the texture, the crunchy texture. So I pre-cooked the onion. Now we're gonna add it in. All right, and then we're just gonna combine those ingredients good. Get it all mixed in. Man, the flavor smells incredible. Can you smell it over there, Jordan? All right, now we're gonna let this simmer together for between eight and 10 minutes and just see how it all combines in together. Then we'll come back and finish it off. We'll be right back. All right guys, so our meat and all the combined ingredients are ready. So now all we have to do is throw in our pasta. So we're gonna spoon it in. Kind of just combine that in together. Get that all working together. Now we're gonna add in our cheese. That's the last of the cheese. Starting to get all stringy. <laughs> That's what we want, ain't it? Now we're gonna cover again. Give it a few minutes to finish off. Hey Wait, guys. Are we too close? Jordan? We're back. Are we too close? Are we too close? That's fine. Is this too close? No. <laughs> okay, I have two guest testers today. Caleb from the shipping department is in, and May May from May May Made It is here. 
my trusty sidekick. I dressed up. <laughs> I like that. They both dressed up. All right, so this is a cheesy, beefy pasta skillet. Cheesy good, beefy good, pasta good. Now, I want to tell you in advance, it does have some red pepper flakes I in it. I see them. I'm a little So scared. it might be a little spicy. But I haven't even tried it yet. Oh, I'll let you go first. Ready? I'm ready. We'll get a bite. Get, We're going to all try it together. All right. Camera. Oh, I already see that cheese. Oh, already see the cheese? Ooh. Caleb, he, did Can you miss the brief? Gooey, the brief was cheesy, gooey, beefy, beefy, cheesy oh, so pasta. Mmm. Mmm, spicy. I haven't got the spice yet. That's a little bit of spicy. Mmm, there it comes. That's pretty good, though. Mmm, just a little bit. It is buttery. It's buttery. What do we need to put no butter in it? It's like, no, it has that feel, like that mouth feel of like, you know what I'm saying? I feel you. It's not, it's That's not dry. Good. It's not dry. Sometimes pasta casseroles like this can get dry. It doesn't mm -hmm. dry. Did you bake it? Not dry. Mmm. It's good. That's really good. Was you grunting over there? Taste tester behind the scenes? Can y'all... Okay, listen. If you can't hear this, behind the scenes, there's one bowl and one fork being passed back and forth. You wonder why we're all sick all the time? <laughs> I got to tell you, that's a hit. You'll like that. Now, you might want to take it to your church fellowship. You know what? It's summertime. Summertime calls for family reunions. Be a great dish to take to that. It's absolutely delicious. Hey, for dinner. And I know you're going to like it. Side salad, this, garlic bread, dinner. Done. Done. Mm -hmm. Done. Boom. That's all you need in life. It's so good. That's it. And now you're it. <laughs> Show the bowl. <laughs> now, this was the bowl that we took the picture of. Oh, it's, it's gone. For the, you know, the thumbnail. I had to think of the word. Hey, guys, if you enjoyed Vinny's Vittles today, did you guys enjoy it? Yeah. enjoyed it. It was great. Then you need to click the red button at the bottom to subscribe and ring the bell so you'll always be notified when Vinny's Vittles is going to be back. It's great to be back with you. Definitely give this a try. You'll love it. Have a great week. We'll see you next time on Vinny's Vittles. Bye, Bye now. That was good. Bye.